Hello everybody, my name is Alistair Dracovic, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Last time, the Chief was MURDERED! Phoenix Wright has arrived on the screen after the scoundrel has absconded, and the mysterious Maya Fey has passed out. We're not gonna run away though, we're gonna take a look at the scene. We need the clues while they're still fresh. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head but with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. Cold comfort indeed. Gosh dang it, the thinker has been another murder weapon. Flash shards near the chief's body? I have to ask, why is the light stand broken? Wait. Something appeared in the background. Can you see it underneath the uh, text box here? A piece of paper. A word written in blood. A word is written in blood. Wow. Maya. Huh. It's also a receipt from a department store from yesterday. Huh. You know, there's some strange markings on the paper. I wonder if those will come into play later on. Oh, man. Oh, wait, I can still snoop around anyway. And... Yeah, ironic. Jeez, Larry Butts just has a very, uh... Mm. Curse. There's a curse on the Butts. There's a Butts curse. <laughs> uh, a large off building acro across from the office. The Gatewatered Hotel, huh? That should come in handy later on. Alright. The Chief's Chair. Simple, functional. Feels pretty good to sit in. How does he know that? Why is he sat in this chief's chair? Oh, there's a new button. Slide. Cha-cha real smooth. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. Where she followed her case records and recent rulings. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. All she used this PC for was email. An ancient, this ancient model has some crotch over practically nothing. Well, I mean... If all you need is email, then an ancient machine is better than nothing. Normal office desk. Very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on the stuff clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Very interesting. Fay and Glow ledger book. Everything is written in the Chief's ultra-neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Oh, that's good to hear. Let's click on some place that's no clues here. Okay. Okay. Now, I lied. I'm actually going to... Check in on... Wait, she's gone? Maya's gone? Oh, there she is. <sighs> Excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya... Maya Fey? Maya Fey? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Hmm. First, I want to talk to her. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? Okay, man. The room was dark. And sis... Sis... So she was already dead. So, you're the chief's... Sister. I'm her younger sister. And you were here visiting? This late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It, it was that clock. 
It was the thinker. Hmm. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna examine around the room real quick. A sofa for clients. A so yeah, a luxury model for the clients. Looks like Mia um, was living up to her um, ideals. A large modern art painting. Wow, Phoenix! Roasting modern art! <laughs> you can grab more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. Few can gaze upon the shelves without feeling hazy and significant. What an interesting fellow. The door to the chief's office. It's slightly open. I better not touch the doorknob. Good on you, Phoenix! A small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. The reception desk. He, I, oh! Wait, 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 wait. Before Phoenix actually became a lawyer proper, he was the receptionist? <laughs> okay, now the whole thing with Mia and um, Phoenix makes a lot more sense. She was flirting with a receptionist. How sc <laughs> incredibly scandalous. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's present something. Oh my goodness, I have to see the journey badge dialogue. I'm sorry, I've never seen that before. This is lying next to the chief. I know. I saw it there too. I thought they might be pieces of the light stand. Hmm, maybe. Never heard of a glass light stand before. Oh, so that's a very huge clue. Uh, about the thinker. The, the, the thinker. That was. Oh, sis. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. Yeah, uh. Oops. And now we have to ask about the bloody writing print. Oh, dear lord. Before Mia died. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That's my name! What? Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would Sis write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. I'd better hurry up and call the police. Oops. Yeah, let's move back to the office. Okay. I give one last little click over. But man, this um entire scenario is not looking great. I have no words for just how foobar this entire situation is. Then again, it is a murder. Right, I better call the police. Hmm? That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through and taking it apart. Police! Please, come quick! What, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Uh-oh. Somebody saw. She's staring right at me! She's holding a phone in her hand! Oh, boy. The phone receiver is missing a few screws. It better not use it. Well, uh, it's a good thing that that one... Lady was, uh, calling, then- Oh, dear God. Uh... It, I can't defend myself if I go to jail! Okay, new, new dialogue there. Uh... Maybe I should schmoove. Moving, schmoovin'. I'm a-groovin'. And there's the sirens. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Police! Oh boy, this is a big one. All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. See, Gumshoe, what an odd name. Bit on the nose, if you ask me. <laughs> we received a report from the building across the way. See, got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that one. Must have been that woman I saw. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great! Mahaya, 
Wait, she wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eek. This word Maya here mean anything to you? Uh, um, that... That's my name. What?! The victim drew this here. Note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name! Killer? I'm not- Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am! There's a reason why there's a bandage on that guy's jaw. And there's about to be another one matching out on the other side! What? Friggin' A! Who does- Right, cops. Ugh! This is a cool show, but it's totally copaganda! Or rather, Lawyer Ganda. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for what questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk with Maya as soon as possible. Ooh, the next day at 9 a.m. Oh, my lord. Ugh. For most people, that would be really early. For me, that's... Eh, I can make it. The, the less said about the sleep habits of the people in my house, the better. Wow. If poor Maya locked, locked up like a criminal. Uh, oh. It's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I gotta say it's up to, um, her. I'd better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you... When you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no! I never thought... It, it's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ah, so he crashed and burned. He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. <laughs> the only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give them three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Wow, okay. That's what she said. I I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But... At the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Ugh, this is a brutal situation. Smile for the camera! This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> yeah, what a brutal... Brutal, uh... Situation. And the look on her face is so heartbreaking. When she cries, anyway. Because look at how she is when she's smiling in a happy way. Gosh, I'm already endeared to this girl. I am ready to draw a sword and... Go full samurai revengeance on whoever... Maya's... Mia's killer is. Just for her. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? 
What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. A acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it that you do? Well, she's, uh, not Catholic, that's for sure. They usually don't wear magatamas. Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. A, a, a spirit medium? I I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Well, it does to you and me, Phoenix, but... Um... Hmm. I'm pretty sure it does. You know what? Before we go to the day of the crime, let's talk a bit more about spirit mediums. So, you're an acolyte, or a medium in training. <sighs> That's right. The Fae family, especially women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Well, wait a second, you said the Fae family? So, Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers are first class too. I... I had no idea. I'm sorry! You're telling me that our boss, the defense lawyer, and the head of her office was a spear a first class spirit medium. I Okay. Wait. What? So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium. With ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something like on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Good, she, she looks so broken over not being able to do that. Gosh. Gosh. Hopefully when I bust her out of the joint, um, legally of course, I can, you know, she can get some more training for that sort of thing. Anyway, we've got time, one a bit more time to ask about the day of the crime. Um, could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right, she said something about that. I remember. You want to hear it in her own voice? Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation's on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah. I forgot how to delete these those things. <sighs> okay, fine. The cell phone, and then we wrap things up. I can't just end and not do the cell phone. <laughs> so, you say you have your converse a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering... Could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said I was, if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. You think I could go? Uh, you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Yeah. I don't think there's any sort of um other choice. We accept. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! I have no one else to turn to. Hmm? Say, what about your parents? Oh, that's a bad silence if it goes on for three dialogue boxes. I, I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you! The trial's tomorrow, 
At 10 o'clock. What? what Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? He told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 th this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. All right. Ooh, this is this has been an intense episode, and already I am willing to die for Maya. Next time, we're going to go see who this legendary um attorney is that Phoenix, well, is being passed up for. Poor, poor Phoenix. My name is Alistair Dragovic. And if you enjoyed this episode, it'll be in our both of our interests if you um, subscribed and r rung the bell. That way, you'll be notified whenever it comes up. If you want to help me out, then giving this video a like and commenting will help me with algorithm struggles. And on top of that, comments can help point out anything that was spectacular about this, or things that were not so amazing that I can improve upon. And if you want to support me either emotionally or financially, I have Discord or Ko-fi for that in the description below. Thank you all so very much for watching. Again, my name is Alistair Dragovic, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, okay?